The response by law enforcement to the Uvalde mass shooting, it was a failure and more kids could have been saved if the officers had responded differently. That is no longer just my personal opinion. What the Department of Justice is saying in their long awaited and absolutely scathing report on the Uvalde massacre. With them releasing the report this morning, it's nearly 600 pages long, and it largely confirms what we knew from the state investigation, which outlined how miscommunication, confusion, and a lack of leadership led to a delayed response. And that's even though more than 370 local, state, and federal law enforcement officials responded to the shooting that left 21 people dead, including 19 children. With the DOJ specifically describing cascading failures of leadership, decision-making tactics, policy, and training that allowed the attacker to remain in the school for 77 minutes before police finally stormed the classrooms. With the report and Attorney General Merrick Garland both citing a number of factors that contributed to this, but specifically outlining one key aspect. Within minutes of arriving inside the school, officials on scene transitioned from treating the scene as an active shooter situation to treating the shooter as a barricaded subject. This was the most significant failure. And that despite the fact that there have been widely established protocols that have been followed for literally decades, they are supposed to move toward the threat until it is eliminated, regardless of the danger it may pose to responding officers because more people will die if they wait. And that is exactly what happened here. When they got near the classrooms, they heard a round of gunfire and they quickly retreated. And they waited and continued to wait and waited some more, even though hundreds more law enforcement officials arrived. And they continued to wait after even more gunshots rang out from the classroom. And they waited as police began to receive calls and messages from teachers and kids inside the school. In fact, the report went on to detail what they refer to as 10 stimulus events over the 77 minutes, or specifically 10 key things that should have triggered law enforcement to engage the shooter. We're talking numerous separate incidents, but saying that during that time, no one assumed a leadership role to direct the response towards the active shooter. But then beyond that, the DOJ also described other failures, that including the medical response, the information relayed to Uvalde parents and the public, and specific failures of individual law enforcement officials. But notably, this report has received mixed responses, where some were happy that the agency's findings reaffirmed what they'd been saying all along, but then many others say that it feels like it falls short because it does there's nothing to actually hold anyone accountable. I hope that the failures end today and that local officials do what wasn't done that day, do right by the victims and survivors of Rob Elementary, terminations, criminal prosecution. Because while the report does outline a number of recommendations, it does not bring federal charges. Though I would say a key thing there is that is by design. Right? The purpose of this wasn't to form the basis of criminal charges. Instead, to outline ways to prevent this from happening again. And actually, this also, as there's already a separate ongoing inquiry by the local district attorney to determine if state charges should be brought. But for now, we'll have to wait and watch for updates there.